What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. Phuket has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. An hour ride by boat will get you to Fifi Island where you can partake in recreational activities such as snorkeling, jet skiing or just exploring caves. Oh, did I mention they have a cat island, a mosquito island and a bamboo island close as well. Regardless, if aquatic activities are not your cup of tea and land is where you feel the most safe, I have just the perfect one day itinerary for you. This is One Day in Phuket. We're now in Old Town Phuket and this restaurant is called Natural Restaurant and it's one of the most Instagram worthy restaurants ever. Everywhere you look, it's beautiful scenes. This restaurant is a tropical oasis in the heart of Phuket town. Just like the hanging gardens of Babylon, it's a multi-level building with terraces, plants, sculptures, fountains, antiques, and goldfishes that creates a unique experience and the perfect ambience for dinner or lunch. So this is the perfect place to stop by, take some good Instagram pictures, and replenish yourself before we head out on a full day of adventure. Got a kick to it. Mm. The best part, the food is delicious. restaurant and we're now at this beautiful row of Sino-Portuguese houses. Let's go! Soi Romani in the heart of Phuket Old Town connects Talang Road with Dubuk Road. This 125 meter long side street has an interesting history. It used to be a red light district area and also housed a lot of gambling dens. Like many streets in Phuket Old Quarter, there are a lot of attractive Sino-Portuguese style shop houses. Some of these vintage buildings here have been converted to bars and guest houses and cafes. This area is truly a hidden gem, full of colorful renovated buildings. Some local families have been living here for generations. Most of them have Chinese backgrounds. Which is why many houses have cute little red Chinese shrines set up high outside the walls. It is very common to see young Phuket couples around Soi Romani, especially those who are getting married, dressed in full wedding regalia for their pre-wedding photos. Don't forget to bring your camera! 20 minute drive from Old Town Phuket and we are now at Wat Chalong. Wat Chalong or Chalong Temple was built at the beginning of the 19th century. Its real name is Wat Chayatararam, something like that. But you probably won't see any road signs for that. Wat Chalong is the largest of Phuket's temples and also the most visited. Locals and many Thai tourists come to pray and pay their respects to several revered monks who were the founders of Wat Chalong. When you go in the temple, they're gonna ask you to remove your hats. And if you're a woman, they're gonna ask you to cover your shoulders. But they do provide you with shawls, so there's that. The most recent buildings on the grounds of Wat Chalong is a 60 meter tall Chedai, sheltering a splinter of bone from Buddha. All in all, I saw about six temples. Yishe, how many did you see? Um, like four or five, six, seven. Seven. The website said four, so maybe they need to update it. And we also have a local tour guide, Miss Ploy, who's showing us around today. <laughs> we rented the van for the whole day for 1,800 bucks. That's about $52, give or take. So after a 20 minute drive from Wat Chalong on top of a hill, we are now at Big Buddha. Sitting atop Nagrid Hill, 
This is the second largest statue in Thailand. It is made up of concrete and covered with Burmese white marble. Facing towards Ao Chalong Bay, the statue is the main Buddha of the Wat Kiti Sankram Temple. The statue was declared the Buddhist treasure of Phuket in 2008. And it costs nearly 30 million bahts. That's about a million dollars. It is truly a beautiful sight and a must see when you're in Phuket. He taught us some meditation today and we're so grateful for that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you to you too. Enjoy your time. We, you, you just do this from the goodness of your heart. You right. like I, am, I am here my like volunteer. Yeah, she yeah, volunteers volunteer. here. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's such a nice place to just come learn about meditation, free your mind. Right. And it, it was so nice. And it only takes like 10 minutes. So please stop by and V's here and she'll teach you how to meditate. Yeah, welcome. welcome. But if nightlife is all you came for, then Bangla Road in Patong is the place to be. With live music bars, rooftop bars, nightclubs, and of course the famous go go bars, Phuket will never cease to amaze you. I mean, there's always a chance that none of those appeal to you. Well, in that case, if you don't want to lie on the beach and spend all your day tanning, you could always just get a tattoo. Hey, Uncle, what is your name? My name is Songdu. Okay, and how long have you been doing traditional tattoos? About more than 30 years. On Limits in Patong Beach is a family-run tattoo shop by a father and son duo. The father specializes in traditional tattoo with bamboo sticks, while the son partakes in more modern ventures. Once trained by his guru in a monastery, Mr. Sambo now has trained hundreds of students in the traditional art of Thai bamboo tattoos. So how do you feel? Your son is learning how to tattoo now, or he can do tattoos. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah and I'm gonna get one from him right now. Okay, okay, thank you. And after 14 grueling hours, here are the results. Not bad. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. If you did, please leave a like, share, or subscribe. And leave a comment below to let me know if you do any of those activities.